So you saw how great Goofy does his sit, but I want to talk to you now about shaping that sit with a young puppy like Dwayne. So if I tell Dwayne, I'm going to take him off here for a second. Come here, Dwayne. Dwayne, sit. Nope. Dwayne, sit. Nope. Dwayne, sit. Now you see how he just falls back into the sit. That's not incorrect, but it's not what I really want. I want to do a couple things. One is I want to get Dwayne to do the sit properly, and that is in form, that is to pull his back legs in, and I want to shape that. I'm going to talk to you about that. And the second thing, I want to get him to sit faster. And I'm going to touch on both of those things because this is going to be the complete video on sit. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Tons more videos like this where this one comes from. So let's first talk about getting Dwayne to sit properly. And that means in the way I want him to sit. So I'm going to take a treat. I'm going to use a lot of treats for this because I'm going to shape this behavior. And I'm going to get Dwayne up here and I'm going to get him into this position. Good. Yeah, that's a good boy. I'm going to get him to stand and I'm going to put this up over his head and I'm going to walk these feet in. Good boy. Good. And each time he's allowed to get back up, because what I'm really trying to do here is get him to bring those legs. Good boy. Come on. So here, I'm going to say sit, and I'm going to try to force him to bring those feet in. I'm going to hold this over his head, and I'm going to say sit. Go, oh, there's a good boy. That was the best one so far. And I'm going to reach out, which is going to put him in a stand position, right? And I'm going to say here, easy. Good. And I'm going to, from here, say sit. Good. That's the way I want him to sit. So once he starts seeing that positioning, he's going to start to get the movement better. So from here, see how he's doing it? That's part of it, is him getting his feet moving forward. Stand. Stand up. Good boy. From here, let's see if he, see, he did it. Perfectly, right? Beautiful. So that's different than the sit you saw over there. And using a little riser, like a little table, you can use a picnic table, a picnic bench, I mean. And see, look how nice his sit is. That's a perfect sit now. That's the position. Good boy. I want a reward. Good. So from a stand, see that? Perfect. Good boy, Dwayne. Stand. Good. Now, that, see, that's where he flopped back a little tiny bit. I'm going to do it again. Sit. Yeah, good boy, right? That's kind of what I'm going for here in this movement. See, Anne? So the way I shape it, I'm going to repeat it, although he got this really fast, and so will your dog if you make it real clear to him. If he's standing, look where his back feet are on the platform, right? I'm going to show you one more time. Look where his back feet are. If he does a regular obe you know, pet dog sit, he's going to flop off of the table or he's going to sit like that. Do you see the difference that the sit from here that's a flopping back sit. What I really want him to do is what we call a tuck sit, which means from here, like that. He's going to pull his foot, his back feet into his front feet, which looks so beautiful, and it makes the sit look that much cleaner. And this is the little fine points. If you want to do competitive obedience or you want to really impress your friends, this looks a lot nicer because his back legs are coming forward as he's sitting. So watch again. His back legs, hop, come on, come on, hop up. His back legs are off the square, right? But they come forward. And the way you can tell the difference on this is the dog will move forward towards you to sit as opposed to away from you. So if you're doing something with obedience, go ahead and stand. What I really want the dog to do, see how he went away from me on that? So he went backwards. What I really want the dog to do is to come close to me. Hey, Dwayne, Dwayne like that. So his back feet come forward. That's a very good boy. So let's try it on the ground, see what happens. Dwayne, come here. Good. Dwayne, sit. Don't, nope, Dwayne. So he wants to go on the square. Don't. See how he went back a little bit? Come here, Dwayne. Nope, he's offering another behavior. He's offering it down, which is fine, but it's not what we're asking for. We want to stay specific with this because right now I want to teach him, Dwayne, yeah, good boy. Nope. See, he's, he's flopping into that down already. Come here. Dwayne. So let's put him back on the square and let's see. See how much easier it is for him? Nope. Stand. Good. Sit. 
Yeah, good boy. So watch where his feet are. I really want to kind of put his feet back. Sit. Yeah, good boy. So his feet are traveling a good six inches, his back feet are, to come to me. And in the beginning, use a platform, use a picnic bench or something like that, or picnic table to get him to see this position. And he's less likely to come off of that position, right? So again, watch where his back feet are. Let's get a little bit tighter on Dwayne and show you that that's where his feet are. And when I say sit, jump forward towards me, right? That's the idea in the sit. He's coming towards me. He's not moving away from me and leaning back away from me. He's coming towards me. That's what makes sit work so well. Come here, Dwayne. Dwayne, good boy. So now let's talk about getting some speed into it. So in this video, I'm gonna go back and forth on the speed of the sit and the precision of the sit. So that's the precision. The way he's sitting now is absolutely 100% perfect. He's sitting on his butt, his feet are forward. He didn't flop back into it, right? So now let's talk about the speed of the sit. Come here. Remember, if you like this video, there's more videos on this channel. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and you'll get regular updates. So let's get speed. Speed in the sit. To get speed in the sit, we want to release the dog faster. Because you'll see dogs all the time, they kind of gently roll into their sit. That's not what we want. What we want the dog to do is to pop into a sit. And to get him to do that, what I'm going to do is make this a super fast, super fun exercise by doing this. Dwayne, Dwayne, sit. Yep. Dwayne, sit. Yes. Right. Make him, give him a little turn. Dwayne, 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 sit. Yes. Dwayne, sit. Yes. There you go. Dwayne, sit. Yes. Right. One time I release him forward. Dwayne, sit. Yes. Then I release him to the side. Dwayne, sit. Yes, good boy. Now you'll see a mixture in here between um, tuck sits, which is him coming forward, and rolling sits, which means him rolling backwards into the sit. But right now I gotta focus on two things. So when your puppy is young, it's important that you focus on everything. Don't just make this precise sit, precise sit, and then later try to put speed into it. Try to get everything to happen at once. So teach him many, many things in a fun, and beneficial way and then polish them later. But right now the, the puppy mind has to be stimulated. A lot of stuff, Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne. Good, Dwayne, sit. Yes. Remember, sit is not a punishment. Sit is a reward because if, I do, if he sits properly, he's gonna get a reward and he's gonna get a treat. And for all the people who say treat training doesn't work, um, it works a lot better than punishing the dog than the old method of yanking the dog into a sit because then the dog sits aversively. The dog sits like, oh no, I'm gonna get in trouble, I better sit, which is still a sit, but it's sloppy. So the dog sits in a coercive kind of way as opposed to in a fun way. What I want the dog to think is, oh my God, when I sit, I smile, can I get a big treat? Yes. Later, I'm gonna fade all those treats away. I don't need to use the treats anymore. But to form a foundation, it's like when you first start dating someone, you gotta be on your best behavior. Later, you can, do things you shouldn't do, but you shouldn't really do that either. I'm just getting a wave there from Janet says, no, you shouldn't do that. And I don't ever do that. But if I would have, I would, well, I would never do it. Dwayne, come on. Good. Dwayne, sit. Yeah, good boy. So now we got speed in the sit. Now let's put a little duration in the sit, right? So let's try this with Dwayne, a mater. Dwayne, sit. Good boy, good sit. I'm gonna put a little pressure on that collar. Good sit. But remember, what did I say? If I'm gonna put pressure on the collar, I'm gonna take the, the snap of the leash and I'm gonna put it on the dead ring or just on one of the links of the collar. Sit, good, good, good. Now I definitely now don't wanna release him to the front. Good sit, hey, good sit. Dwayne, yes. I wanna release him behind him there. Dwayne, sit. So this is gonna build duration here, right? Good sit, good sit. And I should be able to move around and tease him. Good sit. Look how he's holding it and I'm yanking him, giving him, giving him pressure forward. Good sit. Oh, what a good sit. And look how perfect it is. It's a tuck sit. He's got his paws perfect. Yes! His release is super exciting and fun because I'm super exciting and fun and that's what makes the exercise and the training fun. I'm fun, the dog's fun, the exercise is fun. There's nothing but fun and learning during fun is great. There might be a correction where he makes a mistake, but we don't worry about that. If we got a correction, Dwayne, come here. There, no, come on, Dwayne, good boy, yeah. 
little correction and a lot of reward afterwards, right? Nothing wrong with correcting a dog. Anybody who tells you you don't need to correct a dog is not looking for the best interest of the dog. If a dog needs a correction, correct the dog. Correction or a no is a pathway to more information and doing things the right way. Good, sit. Good, ah, 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 no. Sit. Good, sit, right? That correction there startled him a little bit and made him think, oh boy, I did something wrong. Good boy. But right now he's doing the right thing. Good, sit, good. Yeah, good boy. And he gets that reward, right? Good, Dwayne, sit. Good, right? Same thing. Good boy, good, sit. Oh my God, what a good boy. Good. Now let's add a little something to it. Sit. There's a distraction, right? In theory, he should pick that treat up, but he doesn't because he's on a sit. And on a sit, he's not allowed to get that. I'm allowed to get it. Yes. And then he gets it. So to wrap this whole thing up here, Dwayne and Mater, come here. We're going to explain to the people what we talked about, which is training has got to be fun. Training is a fun exercise. It's a beneficial exercise. It's an exercise that bonds you with your dog and makes the relationship more fun. It's not about your dog knowing how to sit or how to down or how to come or how to do any of that stuff. It's about a relationship that you're building with your dog. Dwayne, come here. Come here. And that relationship is something that's going to last a lifetime. The obedience is going to last a lifetime. It's going to make your dog relate to you and have a relationship with you. It's a, it's a communication you're doing with your dog. And it's a way your dog can play with you and can have a great time with you. It can keep him happy and healthy mentally and keep him alive. And it's something you want to do to every single dog. Every dog should be trained. Every dog should be loved. And every dog should be as happy as the Duena Mater, right? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I hope you love it.